Good morning or afternoon, loud and proud crowd. We do have some unfortunate news, kinda not really, about the Longhorn. This truck is probably gonna be going and it's gonna be getting replaced with the 2019 3500. Now, the details are not 100% set in stone. However, if you follow me on Instagram, you should have seen the truck that we're planning to pick up. We've already been talking back and forth at the dealership, negotiating on pricing and stuff, and I should be able to get a smoking deal on that truck. It's a 2019 3500 Limited Dually. It's freaking, I mean, it is just mean. If you want to see the pictures of that truck, go to my Instagram page. I'll leave it right here and uh, check it out. It is just insane, but we're going to be trading this truck in. After the deal is completely gone through, I'll share the information as to where the truck's for sale, but until that point, we are going to leave it nameless. 24 valve here, we've got some things we've got to be doing today. We're going to be starting on the lift kit for this truck with Devin, Devin Fry, over at uh, his shop, and uh, it's going to be a good day. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be uh, starting on this kit a little bit, and then what I'm actually probably going to do is when he starts working on this kit, I'm actually probably going to just take my first gen home and then let him finish this truck um, throughout the day and then just I'll just come pick it up later on. But other than that, once this is done, we can finally get those wheels and tires on. So hopefully within the next video or two, you see the wheels and tires actually on this truck and it should look awesome. And then also keep in mind, we have the giveaway winner for the Duramax showing up this Sunday. So this weekend here, he's going to be showing up to pick up his new truck and uh, he's going to have some buddies down. So what we're trying to do is get all the trucks together, all of them done and wrapped up kind of like with where we were at on them, get them over to where we're going to meet up with them and just have like a really cool reveal for them. I'm not going to explain all the details and how we're going to do it, but it's just going to be a really cool special moment. I just cannot wait to show you guys the, uh, the end result for this truck in terms of the cosmetics and appearance of it, and then also just like how it's gonna be set up over there for them. It's gonna be super cool and really special. Starts like a Cummins. How have you been, Devin? We haven't Good. seen you in a while. I know, I know. I just been busy, you know. Miss you guys. Yeah. You know, like family. <laughs> Not yeah. Busy. Been busy too. He yeah. called me like two days in a row, and both times he's like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, I'm "Rebuilding my website." Yeah. Been spending tons of time doing that. You guys should go check that out. So today, the goal is he's gonna try to get to the doing the five-inch kit on this truck. I'm probably just going to stay around for the beginning portion oh, yeah. and then just go home because I got to do other stuff, but oh. and then uh, we'll be back and it should look good. You said something about a car? Yeah, yeah, let's start it once. <laughs> I can't go nowhere. The rear end spit out of it. Yeah, dude, this thing is filthy right now. Cat's been walking all over it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, race seats in it. Oh, yeah. The old first gen. Dooley's gonna be getting worked on here. <laughs> this thing needs some coolant, oil stuff.
new valve covers on the first gen. If you guys <coughs> recognize these, this is the same exact type of set, not the set, but the same style set that we put on the dually truck. And I gotta say, Devin, it does look a lot better than, <laughs> the, than the cotton candy blue valve covers. Yes, yes it does. <coughs> so, looks a lot better. And the reason for that is we did the head studs and the other ones did not want to um, fit. So, there's a little bit of a gap under there. But they work, they fit, they're good, they're all snug. So if anybody wants the other valve covers, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> the blue bombers. <laughs> yeah, seriously, they're, they're a little bit crazy looking. <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna get this thing down the road and we gotta pick up some coolant for it, is that right? You need coolant for this? Yep, coolant. And then we gotta get some bolts too. Coolant and bolts. And the bolts are gonna be for the dually truck. Are you gonna have fun with this truck, Devin? Lots of love. <laughs> so we were out looking for some bolts. And what were they called? Alignment bolts, you said? or Yeah, alignment bolts. for Caster bolts yeah, or right here. whatever you refer to them as. Yeah, these bad boys. So let me get my looper. And then we're going to attempt to salvage them, but we'll see. We'll see. Worst case scenario, we're gonna have to go to the dealer and pay ten times more for them. Then, <laughs> then, because of course, no auto parts store can get them anymore. Yeah, apparently that's a new thing. I guess they were all like, "No, we can't even order them anymore." I'm like, "What the heck?" Yeah, and we went everywhere. Yeah. So anyways, that's the plan, is he's going to start tearing to this and then uh, try to get her done here today, but... Oh yeah, I'm, my goal is definitely today. Yeah. So. Yeah. And then, uh, you ready to see it with the new meats on it? Dude, <laughs> this thing's going to look sweet. It's going to be huge. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, we'll have to wait to see what truck you pick to get next, and maybe that'll look just as cool, but... Yeah, I was actually. Did I tell you I was thinking I'm like the wheels and tires? Yeah, I told you this yeah, morning. I said the wheels and tires that I bought for this would look perfect on the 2019 dually. Yeah, well, you just told her, but you're well, yeah, I've been talking about it on social media. They're like, I know crazy. that, but you could have been like, oh, I'm not getting it, guys, and then you go like, buy it, just get it. Yeah. <laughs> anyways, those wheels and tires would look freaking perfect on that truck too. But yeah. I'm trying to decide, do I want to do the same we setup? Might on have another something truck set up no? for that truck too. You yeah, could, but, have, we just got off the phone with my contact. Yep. So. Yep. Yep. It'll be cool. Be blowing the internet up and blowing oh, lines. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hurt, hurting a couple butts with all these other guys with lift kits. <laughs> you know? so. But it'll be cool. It'll be cool. And uh, we're gonna have this dually and the other dually side by side, and they're gonna look, they're gonna look pretty awesome. So stay tuned. It's gonna be cool. Well, boys and girls, I don't think this old first one's gonna last much longer. I freaking left the. Look at this. This is a trail of fluid. All oh, this is all from that first gen. Here's more. Here's from where I turned around. I mean, it's, uh, look at that. I mean, you can clearly see it. <laughs> There's where I turned around and backed up and turned around again. I mean, it's just dulled in fluid. Not even know from where. I know it's leaking from the rear main for sure. And, uh, you can see that right there. Possibly. Let me try to get a little closer. Yeah, there is fluid all over the place, front to back under this freaking thing. I just took it on about a 45 minute drive. And uh, I think there's fluid everywhere up there. Looks like it's just a bunch of transmission fluid. Possibly, I don't even know what all, but it's everywhere. The old, the old first gen here might not last much longer. <coughs> There's the new valve covers. <laughs> not that it's going to save the truck, but it looked good, at least for the time being. Yeah, I don't know where that fluid's coming from. But it's uh, it's spraying pretty good. You can see it all all over under here. It's coming from all over the place. 
everywhere. I don't know if it's a mixture of oil, training fluid, or if it's all red. If it's all the same stuff, like I don't know. But, um, you should definitely try to figure out exactly where that's coming from. It might be coolant, fluid, oil, everything. I know there's definitely oil dripping from the rear main, but everything else sprayed all over underneath the entire underneath of the truck. I mean, it's front to back. You can just see it dripping all over the place. I mean, the back of the fuel tank area and the, even the rear axle has some fluid on it. So, I mean, it's everywhere. You can see the rear tires, how s shiny they are on the inside from oil hitting those too. And when I say oil, I'm just talking oily substance, whatever it might be. I'm not exactly sure what it looks. Look, this rear tire looks like it has tire shine on it. That's how much fluid came back here hitting this thing. And like it was thrown all up and down the entire wheel well on the inside too. Holy smokes. It's all red. That looks like transmission fluid. I kind of want to find out where that's coming from. I'm guessing from that transmission line right there because um, it's kind of puzzled together a little bit funky and it got pretty hot but uh, we don't know for sure. We're gonna have to look into that. With the 24 valve, the white flatbed, that truck today Devin and I were out there um, trying to get that nailed down today and just ran into one problem after another and it's not like huge problems just annoying stuff because you kind of have deadlines in your mind of when you want something to get, to get done and then you just realize and remember that with automotive work especially older trucks you can't always you know have a certain time in mind because it's just not the way it goes so he was working on the truck this morning and then we needed some more um, pinion angle adjuster bolts or something like that for the lower control arm in the front and then so went into town couldn't find them got back on the website turns out they didn't know what they're talking about and they did have them so we went back into town got those bolts and then we thought okay we can get this done and he was like working on it working on it and he's like okay about an hour and a half left you know another 30 minutes later he goes to put the shocks on and tighten down the shocks and the shocks that we ordered with this kit from Zone, they go to tight. He goes to tighten them down, and then just as soon as he t starts to tighten them down, it freaking just like twists them right out from the top of the shock, and just all the fluid and gas pressure or whatever is inside that shock just sp just exploded and went everywhere. And then um, they went to try to do the other side, and as soon as they as soon as they started to, started to tighten them down, just completely just destroyed it. And he's like, I've done hundreds of shocks you know shock installs and lift kits and everything he's like i've never seen anything like that happen before he's like that has never happened in his entire experience with doing shocks lift kits everything so that kind of sucks which means we're gonna have to order some new shock absorbers or try to get a hold of zone and figure out why they're um, shocks exploded on us when we were trying to install them on the truck so anyways guys that is probably going to put a wrap on this video though but a um, little bit of first gen action a little bit of dually action not a lot got done on that truck unfortunately due to some other small things but it will be done within the next couple videos here hopefully you guys see that all done and finished is just you know how that stuff goes one day you think it's going to be done then you realize you don't always get to have your pick and say and how things turn out because it's just it's just the way of working on trucks and how things go. But anyways, guys, super excited for the fifth gen coming to the channel. I did put a down payment on the dually today, so that truck should hopefully be here soon. If you don't know which truck I'm talking about, you need to follow me on social media, on Instagram and Facebook. That's where I kind of release the sneak peeks and stuff like that and talk about what I'm looking to buy and what we're looking to do next. So definitely follow us on those pages. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If it did, smash that thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.